North Korea is ramping up the pressure on the United States to soften its demands. It has called out Washington for dragging its feet on restarting denuclearization talks. With an end-of-the-year deadline approaching, Pyongyang says it's up to the U.S. to decide what sort of Christmas gift it wants to receive. Lim Yun Suk explains. North Korea says the year in limit is nearing for the United States, and it's entirely up to Washington what Christmas gift it will select to get. That was the message Ri Tae Song, the North Korean Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs in charge of the U.S. affairs, had for Washington. There were no further details, but in April, North Korea state media cited its leader Kim Jong-un as saying that he would wait until the end of this year for the U.S. to change its approach to denuclearization talks. They haven't made any progress since their second round of summit meeting ended without a deal in Hanoi in February. Now, North Korea's Vice Minister Rhee was also cited as saying that the U.S. was using a foolish trick to keep North Korea bounded to dialogue and use it in favor of the political situation in election in the United States. Meanwhile, the U.S. is keeping a very close eye on movements in North Korea with its reconnaissance aircraft flying over the Korean peninsula for days now amid concerns North Korea could undertake more provocations after Pyongyang fired two projectiles into the sea off its east coast. Experts say the aircraft is likely to be monitoring North Korea's troops and equipment movements, including missiles and artillery guns. Now, South Korea has not made any comments on this, except to say it's working very closely with Washington. With no progress in denuclearization talks between Washington and Pyongyang, South Korea is expected to seek support from China, North Korea's closest ally, when State Councilor Wang Yi arrives here in Seoul on Wednesday for a two-day visit. This is the first visit to South Korea by a high-ranking Chinese diplomat in five years, and they are expected to seek ways to improve ties amid a spat over a U.S. anti-missile system here in South Korea. He is expected to meet with the Foreign Minister Kang byung hwa and South Korean President Moon Jae-in while here in South Korea. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.